Hello everyone, this is Anita Horsley and I am crazy about Captivate and I'm here to tell you uh, some tips and tricks today on how to use custom effects using Adobe Captivate 9. This is really cool stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is just preview this so that you can see what we're about to try to, the effect we're about to try to create. So when they click on the field guide in the right hand corner, it comes out nice and quickly and they click on it and it returns back to the starting position. You can do this multiple times. It's a toggle button. Very cool stuff. So let me show how, show you how to do this. This is an, a conditional advanced action. So I created a variable called field guide and I made it equal to zero. So you can see in my, my variables dialog box here, the field guide is equal to zero. I'm assigning the field guide with the literal value of the number one, and I'm applying an effect. And then I am also in the else section, assigning the field guide, the variable field guide with a literal, literal value of zero, and I'm applying another effect. All right, so the first thing that you have to do is apply the right to left effect as part of this group. So I have this as a group, and I am going to apply the effect. So I go to my timing. Um, let me just attach this. Um, I apply the effect, but then I have to take the handle here. So it's going left to right. I have to take the handle and I'm going to use my shift and drag, drag it out. So the end point is in the middle of the slide. Now I need, I just need to preview this to make sure. So they're not clicking anything at this point. It just, I'm just previewing it to see if it comes out. And I see it's coming out too far. I don't want it so much space on the right hand side. So I'm going to take this in just a little bit. And I preview again. And then we'll get to the good stuff. All right, so that is perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do, and let's say I want this to come out quickly, I'm going to make this one second. So my effect duration is only at one second. And now I need to go up and I need to save this effect. So I'm going to click save. And you want to save it um, in a place where you're going to remember it. And I'm going to save this as a, um, let's call it path one. It's the first path that they're going to go. Okay. So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to, now what I need to do is actually apply it so that I can save it in my motion path. So I, first of all, I have to delete it. And then I want to browse my effects and I'm going to apply path one to this. Now watch what happens here. I'm going to delete it again. And now I go to my custom, my custom panel. And now I see in my custom panel, I have this path one. Okay. Path one. Okay. So it needs to be here. Now I need to do one more thing here. Um, not one more thing, but I need to create another motion path and it needs to be um, the right to left. So I'm going to go to motion path and it needs to be left to right. Sorry, left to right. Okay. So I have to create a custom motion path. So I need to make this go out further and then I preview again. And see if it goes out the right amount. And it needs to go out just a little bit more. Sorry, I've got some workers downstairs. You might be able to hear that banging. My apologies for that. Okay, let's try this hopefully one last time. And that's just about perfect. So now I need to save this. And I'm going to save this one as path two. 
path two. It's a second click. Now I need to delete it. And now I need to go and apply it. So I need to go to, um, sorry, I need to go to my browse effect window, apply path two. And now I can ensure that it's in my custom paths by deleting it and go to my custom panel here. And I see now I see my path two. Okay. So now last thing I need to do here is reset it, reset the stage. Not the last thing. Several more steps here. Okay, I'm resetting my, my group here. And now I need to apply the custom path to my advanced action. So I'm going to select my click box, go to my properties panel, and open up my script. So here, now I'm going to apply the effect to my group. And now I can say, okay, it's going to be path one. And then, or else, I'm going to apply the effect, a custom effect, path two, update my action. Hopefully I've done this right. So now I'm going to preview next five slides. Hopefully this will work. If not, I will re be re-recording this video. Click it, it comes out. Click it again and it goes back in. Very good. All right, hope you learned something from this video demonstration. Thanks for joining me for this video demonstration and I hope you'll stay in touch.